Hello everyone and welcome to Paper Bug. Now this is a iOS or app game that was released last week actually. Um, but I just wanted to, to have a little wait before playing it. Uh, because I wanted people who really wanted to experience it on their own, to experience it on their own before I started playing it. And I bought this last week as well, and I haven't opened it until now, so this is completely blind. I have not opened it, I have not seen it, I've seen trailers of it, so I know the premises of the game, and that's about it. And I don't know if I know all the premises of the game, but the thing is, this is such a beautiful game. And there was what really appealed to me, it was like the music was soothing, the storytelling, it's very uh, story based, so it just seems so intriguing to me. So, without further ado, can we start it? Oh yes, we can! Okay, let's start the story and see. We acknowledge the traditional overs of the land on which we are meeting, pay our respects to their elders past and present. Wow. So that's, it's actually based on, it's based in Australia, so that's probably, maybe, based a little on the Aborigine stories. And f yeah, this is actually one of the premises. It's, it's very blank space, as you can see with the white. But they use watercolors to show the atmosphere, which is so soothing. So let's see, paint. Oh, we have to press it. Oh, it's an interactive. Oh my. This is so. Oh. From deep in the soil to the tops of the trees, the Australian bush teems with plant and animal life. Oh, it's narrated. That's nice. That means I don't have to read it. <laughs> I don't have to read it aloud. That's fantastic. Oh my. Oh, that's a crow, I think. Oh, you basically just have to touch the screen and it shows you. Winter wow. rain and warm spring days encourage growth throughout the bush. And yeah, that's definitely the Australian like the bush, but they also said Australian in, in the previous one and it also said that in the trailer. Oh my, this is so beautiful. I had seen some of it. But I didn't know it was so beautiful. Well created. And it's a very unique way of storytelling. I don't know if this is a visual novel or if there are actually interaction in the game. But it's going to be so interesting. So that, that's just wee. But as summer progresses, <gasps> the land bakes under the relentless sun. Oh yeah, that's the thing in Australia. They have really warm summers. And I'm complaining about the Danish summer right now. But I'm pretty sure Australia has it worse when it comes to summer periods. Like, they get like desert, desert like environments sometimes due to the sun baking so heavily. Oh! Huh. So, huh? Um. The paper bark tree. Oh! Oh, it's a collectathon game! I am assuming. Oh, there is a wombat who lives under a paper bark tree. Oh, we have a wombat. I knew that though, due to the trailers, but that is so adorable. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so adorable. That's probably gonna be me the whole game through, like, oh, that's so adorable! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we, we move it around. It doesn't move around on its own. So what should we call it? Oh, we can actually color the background as well, so we have a better view on what's going on here. Oh, and it disappears again. Okay. Little one B. What should we call you? Do you actually have a name? I don't know. Oh. It shows us to go this way though. Mm. 
Do you guys hear the humming? Oh, that's cool. It's like ambiences from left to right ear. Like some sounds are prominent in one ear than others, so you can know directions. That's so cool. The problem with me is I am a. Uh, this way, please. I am uh, I'm having issues with left and right, so that's probably going to be one of my issues with the game. Like, should we go to the left or the right? Which one? Is it humming or is this ambience music? Sounds like humming though. But we needed to find some stuff. It kind of showed we had to find stuff. And how we collect them, I don't know. But... Oh, it is humming! Well, that was beautiful. I like, I like, like, calm, soothing humming. Oh! Oh, we have to continue clicking it. Oh, he's eating it! Oh, that's so... Like, that's gonna be so adorable! Okay, let's see. Can we... No, we can't do that. Is there a way to see what we need? Oh, yes, there. Okay. So seemingly there's a lot of things to collect in the first chapter. And... That's interesting. So it's kind of a collect-a-thon game, but with an in probably a very soothing story behind it. Oh, I really like the design of this game. It's so intriguing. Oh, look! Oh! We weren't even uh, told this was... Uh, that. We weren't even shown that we had to collect that one. Oh! And that's basically the premise is when I play stuff blind, I kind of go, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> this is fascinating! Oh, there are birds here. Oh, there's another bush of, um, and what they're called. Oh, there's another beetle there. So, did we miss some on the way? Perhaps we missed some on the way, though. Should we go back? Actually, what does it say in the library? Oh, we haven't actually told us what to do. Oh! I'm kind of waiting for the narrator to talk again and see where we are supposed to go. But I'm guessing it's just a walking experience in some way. Fallen logs are no match for this hungry wombat. <laughs> but that's adorable! Oh my goodness, this is so adorable! <laughs> oh my! There we are! I guess we can't go back. Can we? No, we can't. Okay, so if we lost something or missed something, I'm sorry, then we probably missed it. Okay. We can go this way around. Oh! Hello, birdie! Oh, we have to place it. You're a pretty little birdie. That's nice. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> we're a bit stuck. Okay, we just keep to have to keep clicking around and see what we find. Oh, this is such a... I really love the design of this game. Because it's exploration and it has this nice ambient music and all that. I like that a lot. I'm, I'm kind of in my back of my head going, we probably missed someone at uh, something at the start. I hope we didn't. But we can only know for sure when if we put Chris on. Oh my. Ah. I really adore this music. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a beetle. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Are there any other stuff here? It's basically clicking on everything because you don't quite... As I said before, I'm playing this completely blind. 
So, um, I don't even know. Oh, there's another beetle. If there's a plant we've gone past, or if there's anything else we should have collected. And I'm so observant to see if there are anything that we are missing or some of the sort. Let's see. Can we collect the butterfly? We could! Oh, we probably missed some butterflies then. Ah, oh, hello. There we are. <laughs> we, we, we at least did something about that. Oh, he was, he was trying to eat of that thing over there. Come on. Come on, sweetie. What should we call you? Oh, you don't want to eat more of that. Okay. Are you a perky eater? You only want to eat certain parts of the flower. That's probably a good thing because some of the parts might actually be poisonous. You don't know. I don't know what kind of plants they are, so I, or I can't really tell from the game. I know, only know a very few plants native to Australia, so I don't really know. Um, oh, this is probably progression. So what's over here? Is it just a uh, a way back, perhaps? Or is it a point of no return as well? Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, it's a hidden passage! Nice! Oh, this is... Oh. I truly enjoy this game already. It's a very soothing game. You can just play through and relax. That's actually a good weekend game, I think. Oh! You stay there. You stay there. And then we... Can we leave it? Yes. Can you eat it? No. <laughs> it's only a collector thing. Okay. Oh my. Can we... Oh, it is just kind of a hidden passage. Complete... F then I'm through. And how do we... Oh, collect. There we are. We got the one, uh, let's see here, we got the one in the yellow flower, we're still needing a lot of bugs, and we also need uh, a lot of the purple flowers as well. Okay, but it seems we collected the more uh, collectible <laughs> or the stickers, I don't know if we should call them stickers, but seeing we collected the most important parts though. Okay. Although more prominent parts, I don't know if they're more important, but at least they seem more prominent. And did we miss anything on the way here? No, we collected a bug over here. Oh, there's a butterfly. <laughs> okay, so maybe we haven't lost all the butterflies. It's just me playing tricks on my mind because I only realized it when I collected the first butterfly. Oh, eaty, eaty, eaty. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, it's so adorable! <laughs> uh, should we call him Wally? Wally the Wombat. I actually should think he does have a name, though. But right now, he's Wally. <laughs> oh, they're having nests! The Wombat does not notice the little fairy wrens. But the fairy wrens definitely notice the Wombat. So that's the birds, the fairy wrens. Yes. <clears throat> oh! Oh no, he tipped over. Oh, chapter two. Already? The wetlands. Already? There's no way we managed to actually collect all the things that we needed there. Oh! The wombat will eat when it's hungry, regardless yes. of who is in the way. That's true. Oh, hello, little fella. Oh, our character being a little mean. That's a mean one, Bat. Oh, so we actually missed... We did miss a butterfly. Oh, no. C can, can we go back? Because <laughs> my inner self is kind of like going, We missed stuff. Oh, we can go back to the chapters. 
things to find. Storybook moments. Seems there are only three chapters though. That's quite intriguing. I think we will try and complete the first chapter completely. Um, yes. This is still the first part. And it's just a repetitive thing of, of, of previous. Hey! The wetlands. No, no, oh, there were save files, not, not, not chapters. What? Wait, wait. The wombat will eat when it's hungry, regardless of who is in the way. Oh my. I'm oh, sorry, little feller. You have to go through that again. I thought you could collect or tap on the... That you could go back in chapters, but apparently you can't. That's interesting. I'm just gonna try that again now, because it did say you could. Because I would have expected to say save files if it had been that. Chapters, yes. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, the paper bark tree, and we collected almost everything. We need to collect ten. What? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, we actually missed quite a bit. We missed we missed six flowers. Oh my! And we also missed. Four bucks and one butterfly. Okay, I see. So we'll go back and see if we can collect all the items. Oh my. Then I don't know how many chapters there might be. Wow. This is such a soothing game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, indeed. The paper bark tree. Yes. It's confusing when it actually shows you that that it, you have to collect 50, but I probably there you have to collect who lives under 50 in total. Tree. But we were missing 6 beetles and we were missing 6 purple flowers. Ooh. Come on, get out here. Hello again. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we can tap here to start working with this introduction scene, but there might be a butterfly or a beetle hidden there somewhere without us even knowing. So we just pay a lot of attention to see if we're missing any flowers or if we're missing any beetles or butterflies. We're missing one butterfly though. Any beetles? No. Okay. Oh, there's a beetle! Sneak a little beetle. Oh, hey, boars. <laughs> oh. Are you okay, sweetie? I have a basket next to my computer table, so boys can actually lay next to me when I'm working. That's how we socialize during the day, anyway. Oh, let's see. Any more beetles around? Um... Hmm. We didn't miss anything there. Okay, good. This is really much of an exploration game, which I really much enjoy. Um... I think we already actually ate these, but... We can eat them again, I guess. Does it count? No, these doesn't count because we already ate them. Okay. That's quite interesting. So we basically... Oh, is this a hidden thing? Is this a hidden thing right here? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Just look like a hidden thing like in the end of the level though. Huh. I'm just amazed by the art style. It's like watercolors and all these things. So beautiful. 
and I'm keeping a well eye out for any beetles because apparently I, I think the beetles really much blends in with the whole um, nature aspect because they're kind of darkish green so they could easily just look like a leaf but they seem to place them on the trees which gives you a nice little hindi hint so we didn't miss any butterflies, but we did miss a beetle in the first part of the Fallen logs chapter. Are no match for this hungry wombat. <laughs> he's so adorable! <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Okay, let's see here. Are there any beetles here? Beetle? Beetle? Not the thank you, beetle, but... The little beetles, little green beetles. Oh my. Doesn't seem like there are much going on. Oh, ca can we go here? Oh, it seems like a hidden path. Or not. I'll go in here. No? Yes? Or did we come from there? Or not? I think we came from there. We can't seem to go in there though. But we can interact somehow with it. Oh, that's strange. Oh well. There's a beetle. <laughs> I saw a beetle. And let's see, because we did progress pretty fast through this, I think. So we didn't really check frolly through if there were any beetles or extra flowers. And the flowers would be quite easy to find due to them being purple. And uh, no, we wait with that for a second. Because, can we go over here? No, we can't. Can we? Can we? No, it's just continuing on in a loop. Okay. It just constantly looks like it's walking into the bushes and through the bushes, though. It confuses me a little. <laughs> oh well, see? Let's see. Oh, this game is so enjoyable. So relaxing, and it's a storytelling game. Oh, I really like this. Okay. We're probably missing about four beetles, though. So I wonder where they are. They're not really hinting where they could be. There are flowers there, but we already ate those, though. We can eat them again, though. Om nom 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 nom. <coughs> but no, that was not it. Okay. And then there's the secret passage over there, which we could use. But that's what the confusing was, that you could go through that, and then we come through over here. But it doesn't seem there's any beetles other I think the beetles that has been collected will not show again. Which is a little helpful thing. Because you might recollect stuff. The only thing we have recollected was the flowers that we have already eaten. But I think that's because it's the tutorial though. Let's go into the secret area. Maybe we missed something there. Because we got the yellow flower, which was here. And maybe there's another beetle. I know I collected a beetle here. Can you hear this, guys? Sounds like there's more to this area. Sounds like a wind harp or something. Looks like you can actually walk over here. Or is it just bedrock? You can hear it, though. I can kind of hear stuff. Oh! No, go back! Oh, wait. Can, can we walk down here? No. Go 
Can we go back? Oh, we can. Okay, so we're not completely secluded. There's something over there. Or was it just a... It was just something textile moving. Okay. So, not there. <laughs> it just looks like it just for a second. But there's no beetles there. Oh, that's sad. So where is the last butterfly? We haven't found the last butterfly yet, though. Let's see. It's another flower thing here. There we are. It's still one we have collected. But do we... Oh, there's some shining going on right here. Oh, there's the butterfly! We found the last butterfly, fantastic. And we're missing two. Um, we're missing two beetles though. So I don't know where that's supposed to be. Yeah, because this is part of the final chapter. The wombat does not notice the little fairy wrens, but the fairy wrens definitely notice the wombat. So where did we miss the beetles? Oh! oh. <laughs> I can watch that all day. Wombats are very adorable creatures. So where did we miss some? We're missing two bugs and six purple flowers. How can we miss that? Oh man! It's confusing me now because it's clearly stating that there, it's very divided between the, uh, the parts. Hmm. Oh, there's a beetle! Right there! So we're only missing one. I was like, didn't we collect it? <laughs> How did it disappear there? Has it been there the whole time? It might have. Oh, we're so close now then. Oh, it's right there! Look, it's, it's just sun tanning on the rock over there. It's right there! So, basically, we have all the items that we needed to, I think, continue. It does say that we have to find a lot of flowers, but uh, I haven't actually been able to find anything else that resembled the purple flowers at all. So, I don't think we can collect those in the first chapter. Other than the ones we already have collected. There we are. Oh, there's actually one here. But he won't collect that one. So I guess that's not what we want. Oh well, we were able to collect the last uh, beetle though. And I think it's a paper bath beetle. The wombat does not notice the little fairy wrens. But I'm the so fairy sorry, wrens little definitely notice the wombat. So sorry, little fairy wrens, that he basically walks into your nest a couple of times now. But they're so pretty. And it's a very knowledgeable game. Like, you learn a lot about uh, at least wombats in some of the areas. Like, you learn some of the birds' names. You learn a little about the wetlands. You basically learn a little about all the things that's um, prominent in Australia or some of the Australian nature culture, which is really nice. The wombat will eat when it's hungry, regardless of who is in the way. But I actually think I will be ending off here and next time we will be taking on chapter 2 uh, and see if we can find all the purple flowers because it didn't seem they were in chapter 1. So until next time guys, take care and have a fantastic day.